Attention all airmen. The message could not be clearer. If we do not change the way we lead today, we will lose tomorrow's war. Tomorrow's airmen can expect to operate in contested and degraded environments and at a much higher tempo than our current force has ever experienced. To meet this challenge, we must operate with maximum flexibility, creativity, and capacity. We must build trust, shared awareness, and empower initiative. We will embrace Mission Command. From its inception, the Air Force has excelled at keeping pace with rapid changes. Now, more than ever, we must accelerate change and prepare for the future because failure is not an option. Mission Command is the Air Force's philosophy of leadership. In the star, the blue field symbolizes the attributes of the Mission Command culture. The five points of the star identify the principles and encompass the actions and daily practices of Mission Command leadership. Together, the embodiment of the Mission Command culture, the practice of its principles, and guidance provided by Commander's intent enables a centralized command, distributed control, and decentralized execution framework that allows the Air Force to fly, fight, and win now and into the future. To adopt Mission Command, we must first build in our culture the attributes that support it. These are the five C's of a Mission Command culture. We will build character. A Mission Command culture is built on foundation of mutual respect and trust by airmen of good character. We will champion competence, tactically, technically, intellectually, and cognitively competent commanders, subordinates, and teams are foundational to a Mission Command culture. We will maximize capability. Organizations should align themselves to reflect Mission Command principles, streamline processes, and increase autonomy, while avoiding unnecessary complexity, bureaucracies, and micromanagement. We will foster cohesion, team unity, and camaraderie are built by individual relationships. Celebrate your unit's collective identity. Capacity is the measurement of our readiness to execute Mission Command. Build the Mission Command attributes to transform our culture. While the attributes describe the qualities necessary to build a culture of Mission Command, the principles of Mission Command dictates the actions necessary to apply the Mission Command philosophy. Provide clear commander's intent. Give teams the what, the why, the left and right boundaries, and the desired end state, and then let them execute. Create shared understanding, share unit knowledge, unit capabilities, and challenges the team is facing to increase the team's situational awareness and decision-making ability. Use mission type orders when appropriate. Focus on the team's purpose and your intent and empower subordinates to take the initiative and accomplish the mission. Build teams through mutual trust. Trust can only be earned. Build trust through shared experiences. Exercise discipline initiative. Be proactive. When the situation unexpectedly changes, Take charge, be flexible, operate within your commander's intent, and get the job done. Accept prudent risk. There is no such thing as a zero-risk Air Force. Commanders should analyze risk in collaboration with their subordinates to balance tension between protecting the force and completing the mission. When I think about our doctrine, and I think about mission command, it's about our airmen. It's about providing intent, trust, and empowerment to execute what the nation's asked us to do. We will not be able to execute the Air Force Future Operating Concept without Mission Command. It takes practice and intentional development. We must brief Mission Command, we must train Mission Command, we must exercise Mission Command, and we must debrief Mission Command. Mission Command is essential to winning.